This video should help you with problem 16.19 on your mastering physics assignment. It has to do with pressure amplitudes given the symbol P max. So this is pressure amp, sometimes also just called the maximum pressure. The units are Pascals. In general for sound waves that we hear for normal sounds, it's very small. It's of the order of 10 to the minus five Pascals. The other quantity of interest is I, which is intensity. The units for intensity are watts per square meter. And based on those units, you can tell that that must be power over area. Okay, so the intensity of sound is related to the power of the sound divided by the area through which that sound is passing. Now on your formula sheet, you have the, the formula that the intensity is equal to the pressure amplitude squared over two times rho times V, where rho is the density of air, assuming the sound is in air. That would be in kilograms per cubic meter, which typically is 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter for air. And then V is the speed of sound in air in meters per second. And at 20 degrees Celsius, where most of your problems are given, you use 344 meters per second. It's very sensitive to temperature, so it's important they tell you the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you can use that number. Another form of this equation, you can write the intensity is equal to the maximum pressure squared over two root rho times B, where B now is bulk modulus, a property of the air. It's also in Pascals. It's a constant at a given temperature. And so you can use for 20 degrees Celsius that the bulk modulus is 1.42 times 10 to the five Pascals. Once again, at 20 degrees Celsius, and that's for air. Now, neither of those are gonna be very handy for you in the equation that you need for problem 16.19. Here's a, here's a handier form. And that is that the intensity is the speed of sound times the pressure amplitude squared over twice the bulk modulus. And the way that you get between all these equations is you use that the speed of sound, did I give that to you already, is equal to the square root of the bulk modulus over the density. Okay, so that's how you can derive all of, all of those equations. One more equation that you're gonna need for this problem is the relationship between the pressure amplitude, P max, and the displacement amplitude, A. Okay, so this A is displacement amplitude, which is the physical distance, this is in meters, that the air molecules move back and forth. So it's literally the amplitude of their motion as the sound traverses the medium. Okay, so P max, this is in Pascals. Bulk, that's bulk modulus, that's in Pascals. This displacement amplitude is in meters. And so clearly K has to be in meters to the minus one. And this K, this is the wave number. So when we were doing mechanical waves, this is the, the K is two pi over lambda, where lambda is wavelength in meters. And so K is in meters to the minus one. Now, in order to get K, you need lambda in order to get lambda, you always have that the speed of a wave is equal to its wavelength times its frequency. So F is frequency in Hertz. And so in problem 16.19, you're actually told the frequency of the sound waves. I think it's a thousand Hertz. And you have the speed of sound 344. So you can always get the wavelength is speed of sound divided by frequency. Okay, so I think that's all you're gonna need for that problem.